You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I am Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Marine. And we are back with you for the first time in a long time. Oh, baby, it, it does feel like a long time. We, I, you didn't even do the whole, I was waiting for the whole song, and you just... No, it's the middle, It's the, for the mini episodes, it's going. the mini song. You're just like, boom, let's do it, boom. Yeah, this is how we boom. do. Okay, I like okay, it. it's all I good. I like it. <laughs> but we are back for the first time in 2019, doing a coming attractions episode. Lots to cover. Uh, we're going to start off with the sad news first. Because that of, that Avengers Endgame was a crap movie. You're a crap movie. That is the no. We're talking news about can... real sad news. <laughs> uh, the passing of Peter Mayhew, who just found out about just prior yep. to recording. I this. found it on the way on the bus. Yeah, and I and found I was looking at movie news, and I found out just as I was getting home. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting. You did meet him, Peter Mayhew, oh, at nice Comic Con. Very nice guy. Very. It was. He was a very old man. And yes. It was just, you, you he wasn't even it. awake, was, was he? He was awake-ish. <laughs> awake-ish. Uh, but Pick his was... head up and I'll take the picture. Exactly. Like, oh, okay. Oh, God. But uh, He's not going to make the chewy noise. He's passed out. It's like, very... oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> it's really sad, though. And it the, is, actually. Uh, the... Great actor. Well, yeah, but it was more so just like the time of year, too. <laughs> We're coming on the up on May the 4th. Yes. And it was just like, it yeah. couldn't have been. I a, kid, I kid, but it's, it's your for real. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's very soon. So it's a sad thing. And yes, I mean, Star Wars is very close to my heart yep. and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, I mean, very sad. This is probably very bad for you, actually. It was, I'm, I'm, I was, I'm, yeah, this no, is your, your, your universe. Like I didn't shed a tear or anything, but I sat, like I was kind of sat solemn in my car for a little bit. Just like, whoa, like, cause that is. literally, yep. it literally, as I grabbed my phone, when I parked my car, was the first thing I saw was that, and I was just like, "Whoa!" Peter like Mayhew was, was his name. Yes, Peter Mayhew. Peter Mayhew. Well, so, rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. Yeah, Chewbacca uh, rocks. You were awesome. And yeah, thank you for being a giant for part of my life. And thanks for signing his thing. Yes, absolutely. Well, he didn't sign. I got. Although I did get a signature. Too. Thanks for being a all giant sorts part of stuff. Of Joe's happened. life. I mean, it meant a lot. It does, and you know, thoughts to the families and the friends, the people who actually knew him proper right, you know? right exactly uh so i don't know we move on for that from that so we got so much no we got we so much more any, we haven't done one of these things in like four years and i mean some things we've mentioned in the other episodes but we wanted to give because this is a more open forum uh we wanted to just give uh a little more information a little more rounded information uh we've done a lot of work updating our website uh I am. yeah well that's fine but it's thank, uh, you, thank you for saying we so yeah, so the uh, so the website, uh, more information on our episodes now. Uh, you can actually find our episodes in multiple ways. You can actually do a movie search, so it'll look kind of like Netflix. Sweet. As far as just seeing all the covers, and do, you just can click you on choose, the movie you or like. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, oh. you can choose either or. And uh, more news, more everything. You can actually see now where uh, where we're making appearances and stuff like that. Uh, that being said, I'm actually making a live appearance uh, tonight. Right here. Uh, right here. No, this uh, this is being released tomorrow. So tonight, Friday, I will be appearing on the Who Cares Anyway podcast. Oh, uh, like, are you live going somewhere? I'll uh, like, yeah, yeah, be right I'm, back. I'm a busy. I'm a busy oh, guy. Right my on. wife. My wife loves it. Right on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you meant that. I was like, you know. no, no. I was like, oh yeah. By the way, honey, I'm doing the recording <laughs> today, the and I'm doing a recording around. tomorrow. <laughs> right I have given her the open option. She never seems to take it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> That's true love, bro. I know. Uh, other big piece of information. You know, we, wait, wait, wait cool. a minute. That means that you've broken her down to the point where she just doesn't care anymore. You've done your job like a true man. I've made her asexual. Wow. <laughs> I made Whatever. a couple lesbians, but never asexual. You've Spe- done it. Speckled it. I have had a few of them um, uh, generally mutilate themselves, too. Doesn't nice. count, though. Does not count. I'm like, you think this is bothering me, lady? I'm like, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I'd, I'd, shit. I'd fuck a, a for real <clears throat> building. A I, building. A <laughs> building. I don't know why that was the thing. Um, I like for girls to put on like Linda Blair makeup and just stab their genitals. For me. Uh, for me. <laughs> stab your genitals for me. Anyways, call me. And speaking of call me, we've got a phone number now. Oh, shit. On Somebody, show. let's, let's, man, it, well, man in the phones. Somebody nope. ring it up. <laughs> Uh, we actually do. We have a text message that oh I can God. go. 
<laughs> it's no, don't be, uh, don't be that excited. It's from John. Of course it is. Because <laughs> it's always for our t shirt. At least our, somebody calls. Fuck this. Our John. dear friend Fuck John, uh, yeah. we asked about uh, thoughts about uh avengers end game and his response was i think i need the soul stone because i seem to be the only one not crying i'm a monster maybe i'm the next villain i so think that, maybe i agree with you john so that was yeah I you mean, are the I next think villain. maybe we should team up yes on all these friggin <laughs> weenies um oh, no but yeah anyway so our phone number is 269 uh I'm sorry, 289 769 3288. Uh, you can pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Bored. So you can call it or you can text it. Uh, you can leave a message and we will play your messages on the air or read your messages on the air. And how do you know that we're telling the truth? Because we just fucking did it. That's we just did it. Know. We did it for somebody we you went to high school with and he doesn't even give a shit. Talk if we do it, it, walk it, man. Beep, beep, boop. All right. Um, little bit of uh, this day in history Ooh. kind of stuff. Because I was just reading up on stuff today. So what this is today? as of today, Thursday the, the 2nd, May the 2nd. May the 2nd. Um, just in light of all of the Marvel that we've just come off of doing, mm -hmm. uh, we it is today is the 11th anniversary of the release of Iron Man. Oh. So that's oh, going yeah, on. The old fucking number one stunner, Tony Starks, yeah. eh? Also... See, Blah. this is your entire, we're going to get into it, but your entire aversion of the movie is that you picked somebody else over Iron Man. Know, pretty much. And that's, no, 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 no. It's way, it's way more than that. Okay. I'm going to drink, but I'm not a but corporate any, shawl. You're not going to see my <laughs> beverage of choice. Yeah. Uh, and then also uh, Bin Laden was killed on this day, presumably Ooh. by Iron Man. Uh, absolutely. So, you saw him in the desert that's rebuilt his yeah. shit up. Yeah. And then this is also the birthday of two very important people in our lives, spiritually. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, yeah. His yep. birthday. Yep. And Ellie Kemper. Oh, sweet. You can be the Rock, I'll be Ellie Kemper. Yeah. Yeah. I want him to hold me tight. I think she's hot. <laughs> Make me feel okay. She is hot. I never told but, my girlfriend that. I was, I was oh. every time we're watching friggin' uh, Kimmy Schmidt, I'm just like, man, she is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm all over that. And Titus oh. is gorgeous, too. God, <laughs> Titus should star in every movie. Titus stars me in the miscast commentary universe movie. Of miscast commentary, the universe, the movie. That's too much. He's to gonna do it. Deal with. He's gonna do it. All right. Well, that's fine. It'll uh, be. It'll be like in the movie when Captain America passed it on to Falcon. Yeah. So now there will be a black Captain America. Yeah, that's fine. And then well, there'll be a black Todd because it will be Titus. I'm fine with that too. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get right to it. Uh, we're gonna right. go spoiler full right off oh. the bat. Usually we. This uh, movie made yeah. $1.2 billion yep. in 14 minutes. Yep. There is no spoiler. Yeah. Everybody in the planet saw the movie. Yeah. But did you hear Fandango said this has 85% more repeat business than even Infinity War has? Really? It's going to top $2 billion by the end of Dear this weekend. God. So it's almost a shoe in to be the highest grossing movie of all time. That is pushing the budget of my birthday party. Almost. We never quite get there. It's always a crowd fund. It never fourteen well, bucks, you, you know. But because you always want, uh, you always want a clown and a magician. And I'm like, can't we just hire the clown magician? And you're and like, can, fuck and you. can two of the can they both just be having those attributes, but a dinosaur? You like one of the big inflatable dinosaurs, or also no, like like, like the physical maybe embodiment, like, like what's his name, Rex. Theodore Rex? Theodore Rex. <laughs> oh, Theodore Rex. Oh, Theodore Rex at my party. I'm pretty sure he was just taken right off the set of dinosaurs, like the Jim. Hay. He was just <laughs> he was like the one of the crowns. One. Yeah, exactly. He, he was, was just like, like this guy's not like even a... have to be hit with the fucking frying pan. Yeah, like, forget it. He's he's not only not the mama, he's not the star of this <laughs> yeah, fucking show. Yeah, exactly. I, he, they've been getting a lot of press lately because apparently Attorney General General William Barr looks a lot like the baby. No, he does. It, 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 Attorney General William Barr. Oh You'll have to just trust Lord. me at this point. Throw up the graphic. I'm not. I don't have that graphic available. Think of it there. Hey, hey! You just look at pause for a sec. Look it up for yourself and go. Well, that's true. Yeah, don't kick that shit. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's talk. Let's, let's talk it. Avengers. Okay, so okay. you. Uh, you, you, we've v talked amongst each other very little about it. Just very like little quick, thoughts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So give give me your thoughts. I. I'm going to have to watch it again. Like you, you told me that you went and saw the movie and everybody was like guffawing and it was like oh. the energy was like there. Yeah. I had the opposite. I think everybody was in the same 
you know, like kind of boat I was in. When the movie ended, everybody was just kind of like, what? Like, we were all just kind of like, okay, it was a good movie. <clears throat> I clearly expected way too much out of it. Mm-hmm. And I think that they did a lot of things completely wrong. But this is the thing with making a movie. You're not, you know, like, I'm, I, I'm not yeah. going to say that I could write a better movie. Yeah. Because I can't, like, I, I did enjoy it, but I think there was massive faults. I mm-hmm. thought that... Uh, obviously the first thing you would do when going back in time is getting the thing that helps you go through time. Like why yeah. would they, why wouldn't the first thing they do is just go back in time to Pim and be like, you'll hook us up with all these things to go back through time with yes. the places they picked to go back through time were so stupid. Like it didn't make sense. And I, mm-hmm. I thought like, if you're going to go that, like I, th- okay. Professor Hulk was sucked. Professor Hulk like yeah. sucked so bad. There was no payoff. The first thing you see in Infinity War is Thanos whooping the Hulk. Yeah. You, you're thinking maybe in this one we'll get some kind of retribution, something like yeah. maybe a little mano a mano never happens. No. Like, he he's, <clears throat> he's barely active in the movie. But the thing too is that, you know, things change. Yeah. It's a different movie. It's got yeah. different beats and different things. But still, I was like, that's, uh, that, that, I was like, yeah. oh, like, fuck. Okay, then, then like I said, like, uh, like the going back through time I thought was really boring and it was a setup. So Captain America Thor and Iron Man can meet up with their past loved ones, which I thought was so silly. Yeah. I thought it should have been way more exciting. Like if Thanos was going to find out about them, find out about them earlier and eat when they split up and they get where they're going, something, whoa, shit, we got the, some of the Black Orders here and we got to do this. And yeah. the cube, I thought when the Hulk landed and the guys were standing there from the future yeah. that that Hulk was going to look over and fight professor Hulk. And that's how he was going to get his rage back. That would have been interesting. And I was like, what the hell? And then the building falls. And I read, I read, I read that professor Hulk is actually yeah. stronger than the other Hulk. He's the strongest iteration of the Hulk. And you're telling me that he couldn't pick that building up. Like <laughs> fuck man. In what universe does Ant-Man save the Hulk and everybody else? <laughs> Right, I just yeah. thought I just thought I thought Professor Hulk was lame, and uh, I thought killing a, a Black Widow was totally dirty, dirty pool. Yeah. And I didn't think the emotionalness of it resonated at all because it was a scene. It was trying to build it was a, a moment. one upsman scene. Yeah, yeah, it was like trying to put a moment in another moment that has already happened. My issue with it wasn't so much that it was the logic. Because the point is you are supposed to sacrifice somebody yeah. you love, but they were constantly doing the opposite. Yeah. They were constantly trying to sacrifice themselves and they're like for fighting. somebody they love. So it's like almost what should have happened should have been, they could, and they could have spared her in this way. She should have fallen and jumped and then that saved her because That's what she I makes was the sacrifice they for her love weren't. and then she gets the soul stone. Yeah. That's what I would think. But that being said, I didn't have a huge problem with it. Just, right. it's, that kind I was of not, like, speaks no, to I, their nobody, relationship. I wasn't like teary eyed. I wasn't no, like. No, I wasn't for that. But And okay, so where are we here? So Hulk okay. was lame. I see. I was on board. They they found a logic to the to why they went back to that time. Because they said they, they figured out three stones were three here. Three stones were in New time. York and one was here. So, one was there. so that makes sense. And I like, I really you know it's a it's a trope now at this point but i really like the back to the future twoism of oh, seeing like the it, same yeah. movie from a different angle well, type it, thing it was, I just, uh, that was a little too much but you know they could I'd, have done that at the same time as making it more exciting yeah like the most exciting it got for thor was like talking to his mom and then like rocket has to just go oh. like what natalie portman did not notice that this giant thing just jammed into her to suck this yeah ether out of her yeah. like what happened with that whole scene like i know no, we're like okay and then they just leave I know. Oh, that's not holy shit. I, well, <clears throat> Thor yeah. is clearly in the worst spot like ever. He's clearly yeah. got like PTSD. He's in the worst spot. And all they do is make fat jokes at his expense. Yeah. I know. Not to mention that the what we're looking at is like the Marvel universe that's paying to watch this movie. He is I actually there's a big thing going on right now too. They were talking about like all the fat shaming of him and, and, and I, stuff I, like I, that. I understand like that he used to be like chiseled in stone and now this yeah, is yeah. him, but the whole, the Fortnite and everything, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, I was like, are you making fun of the, the fan, your own fan base? Like, yeah, I think uh, again, I, I think maybe it just felt a little too pointed. I think right. that it's intent was uh, how the mighty have fallen. That's, no, I think that's kind what of it thing. was as well. But I just think, yeah, I, I just think that's too. Like, yeah. ooh, he could have just been like a drunk at all this. And like, 
Mm-hmm. His big old, I don't know if it was that a CG belly or was that like, a, I feel like it was just a, like a, like, fake a belly. like a prosthetic. Yeah. I did like the Corg and then we're oh, sitting on the couch. Kurt, the games Kurt, and that was funny. They, I thought they were actually, there was good in all of it. I think that, and I really like, <clears> they, they for, drinking it. They really force fed a lot of, it's a Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they really force fed a lot of characters into this movie. And while it would, it seemed really heavy handed. I was on board the entire time. I'm like, Oh, they got this person. Right. Oh yeah. This person. They would like, like, I was like, it was I, like, I, oh, I, I felt, I felt so bad bones. for Ant-Man. Yeah. Ant-Man, like all Tony Stark did was shit on Ant-Man. Yeah. Like the whole movie. Mm-hmm. And the only person that was nice to him was fucking Hulk when he gave him his two tacos. Yeah. And I was like, okay, thanks, Hulk. Like, at least somebody's... Th- this guy is the guy who actually came up with the plan. Yeah. And the whole time travel theory. And yeah. then Tony Stark, all smug, being a total prick, like usual, is just like, invert the loop. Yeah. I, I underlined, just yeah. figured out time travel. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. And then he shows up and he's like, uh, he turned himself into a little kid, didn't he? And he's like, yes, but we're still doing what yeah. you said that you just... Yeah. I thought Tony Stark was insufferable in this movie. Oh, I just, I just agree. Totally. Oh man. He cared more about Spider-Man than he did his own fucking girlfriend. Yeah. And that scene where it was like all the ladies like band together. I was mm-hmm. like, Holy Lord. I was like, you gotta be joking me. Like it was uh, a neat moment, but like yeah. you could have spaced them all out and had pepper with somebody. And yeah. And so they all, well, like, that's the problem. At the same like, time they all like roll up together. Yeah. Well, I, but that's the, pro- that's the issue with having a battle that big in a movie that actually long. I didn't think it was that big of a battle. It was over a half hour long. Was it? Yeah. It felt, you know what? Oh man. It's like Scarlet Witch though. She almost wasted him. She yeah. had him. He was panicking well, and that, at. And that's the thing. Because you you had mentioned that, and I was going to point out, I'm like, she almost did it in the in Infinity War when he had the thing. She was coming, he was coming at her, and she was fighting him off while also oh, that's right doing the thing. So she was, was she com- was beating him with one hand. He was coming to for vision. Yeah, that's, and she was trying to. That's right, man. Yeah. She, he panicked. I was like, holy shit. That like, was awesome. It, it was like, and that's and that, that bummed cool that bummed me out because then I'm like, oh, you didn't give her enough time. Yeah, but it's it's again, it's the problem with so many people. I don't know how you felt about it. I fanboyed out at the when everybody arrived at the oh, exact yeah, same yeah, time was, cool. I was, was just, yondu in there no okay i thought I he's, saw, he's dead. somebody was fucking with the thing there's so many people how come gamora can come back then and then she Black didn't Widow it's, can't. it's the past version of her that's there now oh she didn't come through a portal she was no. there because it was the past her. she okay, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it, so where'd yeah, she go she's dead oh where'd she where'd go she she's go? missing you don't know Yo, loki, they, loki is alive yeah, Loki is Loki now. Loki is one. Th- I don't care whether they showed him in that scene yeah. in the cell later on. The yeah. fact that he grabbed that cube yep, and, and disappeared. Off, he is totally alive. Yeah. Guaranteed. I guarantee you that that's going to be his spinoff for the Disney yep. Plus. Yep. Is going to be he's escaped now. What is he going to do? Yep. Uh, type I agree. Thing. I love that moment. That moment was cool. I was like, oh shit! Like I was like, whoa! And but that, I, that's what I thought was going to be the fuckery in that mm-hmm. section of their yeah. time travel. I thought Loki was going to start fucking yeah. around. Now. I also really like the Captain America Hail Hydra. Oh, uh, that was neat. That was because you thought they were going to have the scene the again. Same fight from, again yeah. And then it was just like, now just give it to me. And they're like, oh, no. So Hail, Hydra. Hail Hydra. I was like, oh, sweet. But I, I can't stress enough how like I had complaints about the movie. I, I do have say to see it again. I do I say that Infinity it. War was a better movie. Way better. But and like it's they they managed the characters better i think was yeah. the biggest and they paced the movie better there was Those no were, there was a lot there was a lot of them that didn't get any payoff that being yeah, that's true like poor drax and like we didn't really get any payoff with quill or like but this is the thing right yeah this is what i've been struggling with as i yeah. as i talk as i think about the movie like non-stop yeah and like i think everybody was like that after they saw it because mm-hmm. it's like it's what you get versus what you want absolutely and I, and i understand that but yeah. at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm like struggling. But there was great moments when when, when, when Captain America got Mjolnir. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And oh, he I was know. whooping ass and fucking I was, spinning. The, I was like, holy shit. I did shit. not see like, that coming I didn't for a see mile. It. And no, I was just I. like, it went and I'm sitting there and I, I thought it was going to be Valkyrie, like, to be honest Whoa. with you. I thought it was going to be Valkyrie. Yeah. Because that made the most sense to me because Valkyrie becomes Thor. And Thor dug it too. And I was like, I knew it. And I was like, yeah. And I love that scene where they're throwing them back and forth and they're going, and he's got the one. He's like, no, I want that one. (laughs) Give me, give me that. I have a feeling these guys know what they're doing. The directors. Yeah. They gave the big moments to the, to the, to Tony Stark and to Captain America because they're gone now. Yes. It was like their send off. There's one. like, we're going to get a black widow movie. Yeah. She's probably, she may be not dead. Yeah. She's either not dead or it's a prequel. Something's going to happen. Yeah. 
And, you know, we're going to get Black Panther. Because so I was like, where's the Wakandans yeah. that are yeah, still it's alive? Every, and I was like, and where you're is everybody? And, and Guardians. Like, you're 100% Guardians, right. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Like, they'll, and the Hulk will still it will still get, you know, yeah. I just feel he'll, he'll show up some soon. moments. I, but that's life. I, you know, I, I agree with you on the Hulk thing. I... I missed, I didn't realize until you made that point, I didn't realize that I was missing that. Yeah. But um, we talked about like the beginning pace. I was, I remember like the first maybe 25 minutes or so, I'm sitting there and I'm like this, I'm really disappointed. Then I looked and I'm like, oh, there's like almost oh, three yeah. hours of movie oh, left. So I was, so I was like, okay. It, yeah. So so I, I just didn't really know. And then I looked at the watch and I'm like, oh crap, there's tons of time still. So I was, Nebula. I was overall very happy. The only change honestly the only change i would have made shield is yeah what i would have done is not seeing captain america as an old but then man. he can't think about it bucky he has to say, he has to think about it both but see to me that it was the scene from um goodwill hunting it's that kind of like what would make me really happy is to look and see that you're not there Right. It is like that kind of thing. And then for both of them to just be like, right. to just be sitting there and maybe have a, um, like they're sitting there and they're waiting and they're like, I don't understand what happened. Then they look over and then there's just like, just a bag by a tree and they go over to the tree and they open it and it's the shield and it'll say, it says for Sam. Right. And then up you see there in the tree, there's a carving of like SR plus, uh, you know, uh, PC for Peggy Carter. Right. And I was like, so then you know what he did. And then you could right. cut back to that scene where it's you him and her Bucky's dancing. jealous? No. I don't think he is either. No, I think he's happy for yeah. him because he knows what he's gone That's through. Cool. Right? I'm happy so, for his, uh, for um, Falcon's upgrade. He's going to yeah. have to do something because he doesn't have the super serum in him, right? He's not. Yeah. Well, I think, super soldier. I think that it's going to be in a manner like in the comics, he does become Captain America. Yes. So does Bucky two different yeah, timeline yeah, yeah. things, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, so it was like, they were free to, <clears throat> I dig that. Yeah. But I kind of, I liked that they went with Sam only because he has been like, they had problems with getting Bucky back and stuff. But my, like Sam just don't, he's like, I'm all in with you, whatever. Yeah. I'm by your side, even when I didn't have to be. And I'm in no position comparatively to you and these other guys to be like getting right. into this fray, but I'm doing it. And so I was like, so I was like, I could see why Captain America would choose him. I didn't even mind the old man scene. I just think that it would have been, better left unseen or better to assume that he'd already died by I think that Chris point. Evans played an old man well. Yeah. He's a he good actor. Really, I thought he I was like, oh, he's doing really well. I didn't, you know, a lot of people, out of all the gripes I had with the movie, yeah. man, that's actually not one of them. It's not. Which is weird. I, I, I see, was like, oh, nice moment. And, well, and to me, it was a nice moment. <laughs> I don't. Everybody else is like, they got to fuck in this scene. I know. What the fuck? Like, no. Does it fuck with the timeline or something? No, no. It was, um, I don't have any logical problem or whatever. I just think from Wink. a storytelling, <clears throat> yeah, I just think from a storytelling standpoint i like my version better that's right. all there was to right. it it was just like it'd be nice because they'd have that moment they'd have that little nod they'd understand and then it would go back and then you'd see captain america have his happy ending right. we don't have to see that oh yeah by the way because she also died so it's like oh now we have to know that she became a widow <laughs> yeah. or that he became a widow and all this stuff it was nice to see the wedding ring on his hand too yeah. they made a little point to show that off um, really loved Nebula was a star in this so, one. So wait, so they tech, they could uh, do another Captain America movie eventually. It would just be yeah. during his new with Peggy. Theoretically, yeah, yeah, they could eventually. They could be like, hey, you want to come back and do another, a one off? Yeah. Like, of you back in time? Okay, anyways, we're going yeah. Nebula. Nebula okay. was great. She was fantastic. She was totally awesome in it. I was, um, yeah, so many things, and then. Uh, she, and then that other bitch, she had, Nebula. Yeah. Well, it was cool steals because her chrome dome. She must have been really excited because she got to play so much in the in the I thing. Because she was good guy, then bad guy, then good I guy. I saw a breakdown of like the screen time, and she did well. She did real. Oh yeah, she it's was like in thirty eight minutes or forty one minutes or something. Yeah, it was a lot. Tony and, uh, Tony Stark made like a bazillion dollars off this fucking yeah, movie. Of course he did. I think Infinity where he made seventy five million. Like holy shit! Yeah. And um, back the right pony, eh? Fucking oh my god! And that's the thing. And there's two reasons I love. Like, I, honestly, my love for Robert Downey Jr. is what carries over into my love for Tony Stark. I believe, and I I believe is because the two people are kind of one in the same. That's like the same but, guy. But even still, <laughs> like I was watching an interview with him, and it was kind of like, "What was your favorite moment 
in your Marvel Universe journey. He's like, I haven't had a single moment that hasn't been amazing. <laughs> yeah, He's like, like, this is all so crazy. And I'm yep. and still so grateful for it. And I just posted a video uh, I recently. I would be too. I posted that. The worst video. thing you could do is look like a prick after we gave you all this money. But they, he easily could have been like without without outright saying something like, right. oh, this wouldn't have been anything without me. You can, you can tell. <laughs> well, yeah. You can, always, you can always tell where it's just like <laughs> he would say something very what's the word uh like very cliche or something like that and you're like oh he's just blowing this he, off, he looked right? like he did a lot like he looked like he was fucked mm-hmm. up in the beginning of the movie oh they i think they cg oh okay that's why i thought i was like shrunk whoa him. like i was uh, like he went all christian bale yeah. on this shit but he uh but I yeah 15 million per rib motherfucker <laughs> But then he, uh, what like what else too? Probably um, more than that. Well, I was talking about like the work he was doing with kids too, like uh, Robert Downey Jr., where he showed up at the as Tony Stark for that amputee kid and gave him an Iron Man. Oh, arm that is so was, cool! Like, cried my uh, fucking eyes out. So I posted that recently, and I just like I put that. He was with in the that. Iron Man too. Well, he no, he was as just Tony Stark. He was playing Tony uh, Stark in front of the kid, and he's like, yeah. So uh, my te- so he's like. Uh, my friend over here at whatever tech, he's got you set up with this. And it was a flat out Iron Man arm and it was a bionic so he can move his hand. And oh stuff. man. And so this kid's got it now. And then the guy, and then he went out of his way to praise the guy who made the arm. And I'm just like, good dude. And I mean, he went through some shit of not being a good dude yep. back in his early days he and stuff sure like did. that. And they gave him, I remember back then we, how many times did we say, how many chances are they going to oh give this guy? God. And then they gave him one last chance and it fucking paid off. I think he was kind of cleaned up a little bit though. on his last, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. pardon me in the last one there. Yeah. But I'm, uh, but still, it's but, still a gamble. But I was happy. been cleaned up for a yeah. while. He's still, yeah. And there's no, and I mean, there was no way they were going to do anything, but end it with who they began it with. Right. So I was like, there was it, like, it was obvious to me that he was going to be, the one the person the i knew he was gonna die every fucking who are they gonna make the mvp now like oh yeah. my god every fucking what? movie he he flies through the hole yeah. he snaps his finger oh the hulk got yeah. to snap his fingers too though yeah the hulk did, the hulk brought everybody which was an awesome moment too like they played that moment perfectly because you didn't have time to go and celebrate that everybody was back so you had that moment of the phone and you had that moment with paul rudd and looking and just seeing like wildlife right and then all of a sudden boom 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 war starting oh, now yeah, was, that whole, yeah that, I, that was like sweet yeah it was like half an hour i guess eh? that was, it just felt was like long. it was short because i'm like a whore like an action whore i know but well it's then like but a, also it was a lot of movie then that happened shut but, right my action hole baby i want to hear comments about this did anybody else think that after uh captain america said avengers assemble that the movie was going to end without a battle Oh, I dude, 100%. when they started running yeah. towards each other, like all yeah. lined up, I was like, is this the end of the movie? I honestly uh, got... Enjoy- same, same thing. I thought, but yeah, everybody, I was like, no, they're not going to end it this way. I was getting ready to literally stand up and march out because I was going <laughs> to be... Just like the heroes. <laughs> well, no, I was just, no, I was just so mad. I'm like, they're seriously going to end like this. So it's just like, let's just assume that they won. And I'm like, <laughs> Wait, there's fuck There's a third you. one after that. Well, uh, no, Disney it, Plus. It's fifteen yeah, minutes. I know, but I that's, was just dude, dude. Imagine that's what they did to get you to do 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 yeah. Like everybody snap and snap, snap. Da, 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 snap. And then you'd see like in the video, like Tony Stark snaps and then. I know. You know? And it's just like, but I like that. I actually like, like I liked the look of his Katie. gauntlet, like as his, uh, as his uh, Iron Man armor took on the, yes. the stones that looked good. I didn't good. know with Hulk I liked that moment. Where, where it like it started opening. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay. It was like, uh, yeah. OJ. I was like, you're not yeah. putting your hand in this glove, Well, and OJ. that was something you mentioned too. We had talked because you were talking about how Fucking Tony Stark nanobites. gets. A, no, you were talking about how Tony Stark gets the MVP. funeral. Oh. But oh, yeah. And then she and didn't, Widow didn't. But then I was, I was like, you have to assume that a good chunk of time had passed because they had an infinity gauntlet all of a sudden. It wasn't. It, I, I don't believe they brought the one back with them with from Thanos, so they had to get an Infinity Gauntlet right. or make one. And so it was like I was like time had passed, and like when they were all just sitting there and just kind of like remembering, it's that wasn't. I don't think that was her funeral. I think that was just them like 
what do we do now Jeez. type thing while they're waiting and yeah. whatever. So it was like, it, it was a passage of time thing that wasn't maybe so, communicated as well. But I think that she was given her due with, they gave her her due. Just right. you didn't see it. Um, one thing we did talk about, or I, I think I mentioned it to you huh. uh, when you go through all the people who are at Tony Stark's funeral and there's just one random kid who's behind oh, the thing. Yes. I thought when we were going backwards, I thought it was Quicksilver. And I thought that the reverse snap did something oh, or whatever. And I, I was like, whoa. I noticed him, yeah. But I but then it was it got closer, I realized it wasn't him. And it also looked more like the wrong Quicksilver. It looked more like the X-Men Quicksilver. Right. Not, but, uh, right, right. But, uh, but then... Uh, he goes so fast, he's in the wrong fucking movie universe. That would be fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, well, now they own both. Maybe they just picked their favorite. They were just like, yeah, we like him a little bit better. Sorry, other guy from Kick-Ass. Um... But the other interesting thing was, yeah, this guy who was you're like, oh, who's that? Who's that? And you don't recognize him because it's been so long. He was the kid from Iron Man 3. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. So, and I was yeah. like, that's a cool little moment because he would have meant neat. something to him, right? And the kid that was helping him out through the whole yeah, movie. That was look, a nice little moment, actually. Yeah. Had a little moment, too, I, with I the daughter. I, like, I don't know who the fuck this is. This is some kid, I guess. Yeah. I had a little moment with the daughter, too, when she was just sitting there and all sad. Oh, yeah, and the now, burgers, uh, the happy said he was going to take care of her. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, there's too many. His mom's not. His mom's a part of the Avengers now, so now half is going to adopt her because she's too busy. Yeah. Well, it was just, you know, it's, it's their own thing, but it was, uh, I don't know. There's too many moments to talk about. Overall, thoroughly enjoyed Titty the Iron movie. Titty Iron Man. I was what's like, that? Titty Iron Man. Titty Iron and I was like, oh, it's Gwyneth. I was like, good for you, girl. You know what's funny, the too? The suit on. I didn't even. The laser should have shot from her nipples. Yeah. Would so, that have set the movement back? A little bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have like like had again had this movie been made in the 80s there's no way that wouldn't have happened the beam of life it shoots out from her vag area oh, Boom. I picture how much <laughs> racist shit would have happened if this movie was made in the 80s picture <clears throat> picture what happened in Revenge of the Nerds and that was just like a jokey comedy and now picture what they're gonna do with a movie with all these like stereotypical like Asian characters and all these things, it's just full oh well, oh, like, oh, 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 yeah, lo now there's lots. Yeah, yeah. They they killed all the white uh -huh. people. Oh, it's yeah. all like and now uh -huh. it's gonna be uh, uh, black people, gays, and chicks. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm fine. Do I have no problem with that. Do you have a favorite cameo? I was say, who's the new? Who's gonna be the new team? I'll answer your question though. Okay, my favorite cameo. Yeah. So like of. of the people who weren't like, say the people who weren't in Infinity Infinity War. Who was your favorite yeah. person to just show up and you're like, oh hey, they're here. Oh yeah. I think mine yeah. was the ancient. Oh, I think that was probably mine too. Yeah. I thought their conversation was neat. And it, well, I and like that scene actually. And it mattered. And it also it, it gave you again the Back to the Future two explanation of time. I dug that. Is what happens when you do this <laughs> is you don't change time. You just make a bunch of different. I, I also like that hot tub time machine got a shout out <sighs> in, a, in the biggest movie of all time. Like mm. I, th I think that's a win for Hot Tub Time Machine. Man. Oh, absolutely! Like so bad. John Cusack is the new winner, <laughs> but <laughs> just it was. So what? Ronan just needed a hug. Yeah, I like the accuser. I mean, like Hawkeye. Yeah, no, guy's I been murdering Japanese people for five years hard, yeah. just like on a murder spree. Yeah, Black Widow shows up, holds his hand. Five minutes later, he's back to his jokey old self. Yeah. I was yeah. like, wow. I don't think he knew what movie he was in. No, I know. He was just I, like, at all times, he just seemed like he would just could care. I like that they gave him more stuff, though. I did it, too. I did because, it. Like, I liked he, the, the scene of him running with the gauntlet yeah. through the sewers and all the mm -hmm. dudes were after him. I was like, yeah, oh, neat. That was cool. And then uh, it was just, they they gave different people a lot to do. But like you said, it was at the cost of other people. But it was just, it was one of those things because it was the reverse snap that brought all those well, people exactly. back. It's like, you can't fit them all you in now. They're all going to get them. Get snapped. You're go, they're I all getting this, a shot. I, thought, I also best. thought instead of like this relay yeah. that they kind of did with Spider-Man and the Black Panther yeah. and then... You know, I, I thought it would have been more of like, oh, we'll go over here, and then here's like Drax and somebody fighting together, and then mm -hmm. and we got, we got, you know, it was nice to see they did what they could, I guess, yeah, with the time because the movie's already at three hours, yeah, four hundred billion dollars, but yeah. you got to see Groot, and it was nice to see baby, you know, Groot, adults and Groot and Rocket be fighting, and yeah, you know, I did like the uh, As Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope that's volume three. Oh my I God, hope that, that it says Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians is crossed out and it says As Guardians. That would be amazing. 
I don't know what their plans with him are because I don't think he's doing it. If so. that was the plan, yeah. he's just said that he'll do Thor for the rest of his life. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh God, I hope that's true so, because he was fucking amazing. He was great in that movie. He would. He really he was, was the best part of it. He that yeah, scene where I would, they went I would, in there and he was like, "Don't you mention Thor's name?" And he was like, "Tear." I was like, "Oh, oh. I was like, he's fucked up." Yeah. And then they're like, "Hey, stop crying, fatty." <laughs> and I then know. they do this frat boy high five. We're like, <laughs> "Rody and Iron Man." Are like, <laughs> I know. We're gonna pour hot cheese whiz in his balls later. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow. He becomes fucking... Vincent D'Onofrio in Full yeah, Metal Jacket. Pretty nice. Okay, so you asked the question who the team <laughs> Yeah, the is new team now. is gonna be okay, so Captain Marvel. Yeah. She's Black essentially Panther. the leader of the But in the cartoon, Black Panther was their like leader. Earth leader. <laughs> no, no, Black Panther, I think, was their leader, but when it came to rumbling, she was like the military leader. And I think that that would reversed. probably make sense because she's going to leave again. Yeah. Right? She's like, okay, I'm so not here anymore. Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Professor Hulk. Thor's gone with the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Yeah. So we got Hawkeye, Ant-Man. Captain America. The new. new Captain America, Bucky. Yeah. That's it, I guess. Scarlet Witch, did you say? Oh, Scarlet Witch. Potentially. Oh, and Vision's coming back in some <laughs> way, shape, or form because Scarlet Witch and Vision are having a show. Yes. Uh, now, the in the thing, when he mm. gets killed or whatever, he comes back as Grey Vision. Like, he turned into Grey Vision when he got the thing when pulled they, out of him. Right. So there is a theoretical possibility that he'll come back as maybe that or uh, something. I don't know. Um, well, he's like a program. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, they'll Let's reboot I'm, the thing. They'll, they'll sort that out, no doubt. I hope when uh, they turn him on, you can hear Ultron back there. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Like Just Ultron's play a couple of kicking old... around back there forever. Yeah. Which is essentially what the yeah, case. Right? That would be really interesting. Fuck it, eh? What did they let me write? Well, this you could just get Shuri to get her suit. Mm-hmm. Shuri could suit like exactly. There you go. See, running. we should have saw her too. I was really hoping you for did her. get a little bit of her in the, the in the all girl. The end, yes. Yeah, but again, she was part of the snap. Uh, some of them weren't though. Some of the Wakandans only we the uh, see them. only Denai well, Guerrero. I wanted to see what what happened to Wakanda after. Yeah. But I, we're going to have another Black Panther movie, so that could uh-huh. explain that. Did it not blow your mind, though, at the beginning? Because, I mean, I thought that the time had passed already. And then and then they go to uh, Thanos. And then, like, it legit shocked me when they killed that. I was like, whoa, oh, me too. shit. Me too. And then, but we had heard oh, rumors yeah. that maybe he wasn't the bad guy and this yeah. sort of thing. So I'm like, okay, well, what's going to happen? And then the five years later happened, and then that's when everything got even darker. Yep. You'd think they would have created some sort of order. I don't know why there was still trash in the streets five years later. but uh, <laughs> Oh, here's another thing. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yes. So at the end, Spider-Man goes back to school. Yes. So... Yeah, five Where's years. Where's the timeline? So did so would all um, the kids who didn't get taken away with the snap they would have graduated and they're gone, and the kids who came back from the snap just go right back the next day. Like, that would be my. Oh, I guess so I was trying to portal again. I'm, I'm not feeling worse for where I guess I'll yeah. go to school tomorrow. Well, I'm I'm again guessing the passage of time is right. It's probably then, been a couple months. But then and then but, it would just be the kids. Yeah. That came back from the snap. I guess, and, and then the whoever's same school. Well, and whoever's that age now. I see a lot of yeah. logistical problems. Really with that liked, whole thing. I'm yeah, like, I know. What? Like, really liked the moment between uh, older Scott uh, Scott Lang's daughter, like Ant Man's daughter. Now that she's older, like she, oh, that, that was, was nice. Point. I really liked Ant Man in the movie a lot. He was. I yeah, know just really, because they said when does the Ant Man ever rescue the Hulk? But yeah. he did really good. I love that mm-hmm. scene too in the last battle where you just see his foot come down and yeah. smush a guy. Yeah, <laughs> it was like <laughs> I was like oh, that was so cool. It was great. Yeah. It was great. There was I, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Three yeah. hours. I don't think I, I didn't have as many downs personally for me. Uh, I had. Kind of a slow rise. I guess you never know. I might, I might, I might watch it again and be like, okay, like it's resonating Mm -hmm. more with me or something. You know what movie I felt like that when I walked out of the theater? Was that was Terminator Two? Really? And Terminator Two ended up being my favorite movie of all time. Yeah. I didn't know what I'd seen. I was just like, what am I feeling right now? I. I, It's quite a ride for me though, watching you go through some of these sometimes, because I've seen you come out of movies and say that's one of the best movies I've ever seen, and then then by the time you got home, you're like, I hated that movie. Yep. It's, I know yeah, it's it's like, it happens. Like you did that with the Ma- you did that with the Matrix Reloaded. Yes, and was I remember the second one? second one. The action was really good. In it, yeah, though. you were like, yeah, you were like, you were like, that movie was awesome. That movie was awesome. And then you got back, you're like, that movie was bullshit. I know because no, because I start thinking, right? It's like I I'm know. thinking and your first impression, and that's like I said, you can't yeah. don't don't. We'll have to do another okay. ridiculously long Avengers Endgame two because yeah. the movie's well, forty five. You know, well, the, the, what's going to happen? We are. St- we're not done with the MCU commentaries. We're just caught up. Yeah. And fuck. so when Captain Marvel comes by. out, 
Well, when Captain Marvel comes out on Blu-ray, we'll do Captain Marvel. Oh, That'll be a while down. Yeah. And then when Infinity... Not this one... age, it'll be out tomorrow. Oh, maybe. And then when and, Endgame... And it's, and it's still in the theaters, so I can see. Yeah, and then when Endgame comes out, we'll do Endgame. And then we'll just... We'll just let them come naturally now. <laughs> it's just, we won't force it down. Do, we'll, I feel like I got gang raped by the entire Marvel universe. I was hoping that that was going to be the case. Like, oh um, my god! I will tell you what I did for that movie though. I I had to work. I had to, no. I had to wake up for work at four o'clock oh, in the morning for on fuck Friday, sakes. and this. I did not want to miss going on the first day. And I didn't really want to use a vacation day, which could which was an easy do. By the yeah. way, I could have just said, hey, can I have Friday off? No problem. I have vacation days. That's what they're for. And I was like, you, no. You, you, you battled, man. You, you earned it. I did earn it. I took a one and a half hour nap. And then I went to the 1055 p.m. showing of Avengers Endgame, which put me home at roughly 2.30 by the time we got out of the movies, got home and all that stuff. And then I was like, oh, I have to be up at four for work. So I'm going to just lay my head down on my pillow. And then my eyes just open. Check the watch. No, not time to get up yet. <laughs> Check the watch. No, not time to get up yet. I fucking hate it. I just get up. Check the watch. And then I was like, might as well just get up because yeah, this up. ain't working. Just so, get up and do something. so I just got up and started doing some shit. And it was you like, I was around. a nightmare. You went around on the meter. Yeah. And when you were like, but then you, you ruined it. Yeah, I you was all the way from through sleepy time into awake awake mode. Yeah, but only by a bit. It's like that thing where you have to shit so bad, and then when you finally get somewhere to shit, you're like, I don't have to go anymore. And you're on a timer. Where did it go? And somebody's like, you're on a timer. You got 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah well, fuck. I was yeah, just shit here and never shit again. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, that's that. I think we can leave that at that because we you got more shit. Then, when you sit and you can't shit, you get an old an old knife, like a like a... Like a, a butter knife. Like oh when you're God. getting ketchup out of that old glass bottle, <laughs> fucking just jam it up in there. I, you got to break it up. I do like that. You break um, up the Bergs. A couple of little news pieces I wanted to get into. A fairly old movie, but it hasn't really gotten a lot of actual airtime. Uh, Netflix is releasing it on May the 5th. It's called Death House. And Death it's basic, House? it's been basically, I know I pronounced that really weird, didn't I? Death House. Death House. Uh, it's basically the, uh, it's basically the expendables of horror movies. Yeah. It stars like Kane Hodder, Tony Todd, uh, Lloyd Kaufman, it's on Wallace. It's coming on Netflix. Oh my God. May 5th. I'll be coming. It's actually from 2017. Those are the best ones. And it's just, but it's just like one of those crazy who directed it? I don't know who directed it. Oh, Gunnar Hansen's in it. Uh, Adrian Barbeau's in it. Like so many I have many a feeling people. that for no reason at all, because I've never heard of this, but now I'm really yeah. excited. Yeah. I'll bet it's the guy that directed uh, Victor Crowley with Hatchet. Oh, Hatchet. oh maybe. Um, I don't know why. That movie just screens the guy from Hatchet for some reason. It does. Reason. It actually does. The, um, who, what else? Is no one there? dies. A lot You're of people so too. disappointed that it's called Death House. Yeah. The old, uh, the older man from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Sid Hag. Sid Hag? Is in it. Uh, the guy from uh, Hills Have Eyes. Like it's. The guy, that guy's dead. No, it's the other guy. Like the guy, I think the remake guy, or he's all fucking fucked up. You'll, you'll know him to see him. Uh, so anyways, they're all in that. I just wanted to bring that up just because yeah, it like, sounded like a fun about? movie. Okay. It just oh, sounded like something fun. It sounded like something <laughs> else. And then uh, just again, because we're struggling hard to get out of the Marvel universe, uh, Marvel announced they're going to have a Ghost Rider TV show for Hulu. Starring Nicolas Cage? No, not starring oh, Nicolas Cage. On. Now, here's the weird thing. Now, I've re I read this, and I have a hard time believing what they're trying to tell me. Uh, Gabriel Luna is going to play Robbie Reyes, the Latino uh, Ghost Rider. But a Latino Ghost Rider? Yeah, and he was actually on... Uh, Robbie Reyes was what? Like he's a sk flaming skull. He goes on oh, no, Well, no, but he is—he's a person for some time. He's not always the skull, yeah. right? Um, yeah, he's like fatos, 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 and his 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 Ghost Rider cars on fucking. Oh, that'd be a fucking there. badass. It's got the little balls hanging all around it, and when That's he hops, the big goes, rim. <laughs> you know, all the all the not, again all the eighties shit. Exactly. Um, <laughs> But no, uh, he was chains and hot taco sauce. But, but interesting, Gabriel Luna, who they cast to play him for the I like Hulu him. show. Who's he in? What's he? I don't know. No, you're is thinking is he Diego. The Mandalorian? No, you're thinking Diego Luna. Ah, uh, you're right. Um, you're right. You actually are exactly there right. There you go. But um, Robbie uh, or Di uh, Gabriel Luna played Robbie Reyes slash Ghost Rider in Agents of Shield ah. for a whole season, 
but here's what they're saying now. So he's doing this. He's playing Ghost Rider again. He's playing Robbie Reyes. He's doing all this. But they're like, oh, no, it's not connected to Ra- Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm like, so you just cast the same guy to play the same part in the same they universe? Like they like so I feel like... Maybe what, they're trying to make like him the character. I think what they're trying to do is say, don't expect characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to show right. up, I think. But, like, it's still, like, they connect their universe. So it's not like fucking DC where they're like, the TV shows don't even matter. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, and then they make the movies. on the cartoons. And, and then they make the movies and they're like, the movies don't <laughs> even matter. <laughs> Does anything really yeah. matter? This Joker's not even the Joker. He doesn't yeah. even know who Batman is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so I just thought that, again, that was weird news. Um, it wasn't a ton because everything has been... It's all Avengers. All, all Avengers, all Avengers right? Nothing matters. But Game of Thrones happened. Uh, some people died I, in a big battle. I think I I think I found a way to force you to watch Game of Thrones against your will. Oh my god! That There's like be- so many sh- seasons. Yeah, but it's not that many episodes. I don't even episodes. know it. It's, it's, he said it's, that was Friends. Yeah. What the fuck? Matthew Perry's in both of them. He's the Night King. But. Uh, <laughs> Phoebe's pissed. She's breathing fire again. Could I be any more of a White Walker? (laughs) That's that's the whole deal. You get you you get it because it's friends. Um, (laughs) But the I'm so sorry, Uh, Jimmy. No, but uh, we've got our big interesting thing now. Is today is May third, but tomorrow's May the fourth, and what do we always do on May the fourth? Cry. In bed? I, that's what you do. Oh. I'm watching Star Wars, and I want you guys to watch Star Wars with me as always. Every year we do our thing, so we're not waiting till next week to give you a movie. We're giving you one tomorrow, Boom. god damn it. Yeah. And there's only one way to do that, and that is for us to play Return of the Jedi. Let's hear the trailer. I thought you were just gonna play around. I was like, what? <laughs> Let's press play. It's a weird shot. I know. <laughs> Return for the climactic clash between the forces of good and evil. Return to a galaxy far, far away. Return of the Jedi. The next chapter in the continuing Star Wars saga. The battle for freedom rages on. The heart of a hero. The courage of a rebel. The strength of a leader. The loyalty of comrades. The power of the Force. The cunning of the enemy. A destiny revealed. Is Darth Vader my father? A legend fulfilled. An epic of heroes, villains, and aliens from a thousand worlds. It's a trap! The quest continues. The circle closes. The saga lives on. Return of the Jedi. Coming to a selected theater in your galaxy. And there we go. So we're doing it again. Coming to one selected theater. That was just what one. a lucky group remember, of people that must have been. Do you remember? Um, oh, well, that was my phone started. continuing to play. Yeah. Oh, um, but do you remember in uh, when we were going up north together? It was when Independence Day came out. It said only in yes. theaters yep. July the fourth. So we were like telling Todd's aunt and uncle, we're like, <laughs> we have to go see it today. It's only in theaters today. We were so dumb and we didn't get it. Oh, I haven't come only, back out of there. Because when you yeah, think yeah. about it, only in theaters this day, we were like, huh? Yeah, it seemed we really. We've seen movies before. For some reason, that line on that particular movie was. I've never, I never caught that. Out. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was we so first, weird. We we're paying attention for the first time uh, ever. So we just heard a Star Wars trailer, 
And we, of course, we haven't been doing these episodes yep. since the mm. last Star Wars trailer came out. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> That fucking trailer kicked ass. Yes. Ass uh, kicking. It was like, and every moment of it was perfect. You get the little surprises. Hey, Billy D's back. You get yeah. the awesome, cool backflip lightsabery thing yep. that uh, Ray does. So that's show, that must be, again, another passage of time thing. All probably. the Jedis okay. are inside you now. Shut up in there, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. I can't yeah. even have a lightsaber battle with this fucking dork over here. Yeah, this was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Me too hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yes. We're all inside you. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of theories about the whole rise of Skywalker, what that means. Does that mean that she is a Skywalker? Does that mean, I I think the most prevailing theory I've heard is that Skywalker, like there aren't going to be Jedi anymore. It's going to be the Order of Skywalker and that's going to be the new oh. uh, thing. That's like a tax thing. They're tired yeah. of paying Jedi tax. So like, we just call yeah. we'll fucking, we're just going to we'll rename, break rebrand. up. Yeah. New name. But so much uh, interest in the Emperor's laugh at the end. What does that, that awesome. mean? Do you think J.J. Abrams, because like he yeah. had to write a movie after yes. Buddy. Like I don't think they were like in cahoots about what was going to happen. I think that there were parts that had, like there were beats. Right. But there was definitely not a whole beginning to end. Because do you think that was like fan service of like no one ever really dies, huh? They're still alive, everybody. They're all here. Ah, the books are still there too, somewhere. Well, what still kills me is like, and then after, uh, there's information that we talk about in the episode with the Return of the Jedi. There were characters they meant to bring back from the dead and stuff like that. that, So information. Yeah. Check it out tomorrow. It's not a long wait. Uh, So. Well, it is. For you. Stay up all night. It'll be for fucking ever. Raging. <laughs> Raging. Uh, but I mean, I think this is a good enough place to leave you guys. Uh. Um, so yeah, so just let's go over the schedule again. <laughs> Today, you're listening to this. Tomorrow's tomorrow, foosball. Tomorrow, catch your foosball. But then... Put on Return of the Jedi. Listen to it with some miscast commentary. You've watched all, like every May the 4th, you guys. Because you're all exactly like me. Saturday, you're, you go see your yep. sponsor. Yeah. Because that's when it all really hits home, you know, Saturday. <laughs> and, then, and then what? And then, so yeah, so watch Return of the Jedi with us on Saturday. And then the following Friday, Fuck, I we're we back with it. It's 1030. I was going to say it, but it's like yep. way too early. The following Friday, we are back with... Another, bang, we're, we're, no, we're back with another coming attractions Ooh. episode, and we're gonna get into the official groove of everything again. Was bringing you back into, you know, coming Falling attractions back. movie, coming attractions movie, coming attractions. Oh, I'm movie. so happy! I oh, know. I like the coming attractions. I know. MCU universe. I told you it was like being raped because we can be. By a ch- it's like being train raped. <laughs> See, uh, I know what you mean, but it was like I was I I was hearing it in my brain. As like they were training you to be raped, like you were uh, learning how to properly to be raped. Ra- yeah. So you got great at you it. You call that being raped? Yeah. Jeez. Watch oh this one get God. raped. Oh, uh, thank <laughs> you, sir. But uh, <laughs> that's what I'm. A, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Anyways, um, and another thing, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how scheduling and stuff works. But maybe if we're lucky, maybe we can squeeze this in as a live YouTube thing Ooh. next week. And then we'll also still come out as the podcast. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Check us out, miscastcommentary.com. I already said the website's updated. Email us, uh, podcast at miscastcommentary.com. Uh, catch me on, uh, at JK Finley on Twitter. It's, it's not there, but it could be. It could be. It's... Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, Twitter and Instagram at JK Finley. Todd's on Twitter at Miscast Todd. Uh, again, phone us 289 769 3288. Phone, text, do whatever. Because uh, we get faxes? If, I promised you. I love some uh, ass titty faxes. That'd be, if, faxes I, well, your ass. There will be no faxes because they, oh. you can just you can send those directly to those number, though, to that number, though, if you text it. That's, if anybody faxes I like, us your ass, Todd, I will yeah. give you a free t shirt. Yeah. Free t-shirt for ass. And by free t-shirt, it means a t-shirt we have to pay for, but he'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay for it. Yeah. I'll, I'll make him. Oh, son of a bitch. I always have Force him. Strong arm your That's, fucking I'm, ass. See, I told you, I'm really good at getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, I'm so good at it. Uh, so anyways, guys, we will see you not next week, but you, tomorrow. May the fourth be with you. you but can't. right now, May the third 
just fucking drag on till tomorrow, <laughs> I guess. You can't rape the willing. <laughs> All right. Until then, we will see you later. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.